Ông Quỳnh Châu. The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience reprend. And we would like to now hand over to the prosecutor to continue putting questions to the witness. Nous allons à présent donner la parole à l'accusation pour poursuivre la Thank you, Mr. President. And um, question, if I can just uh, si, si je puis seek some uh, directions from the chamber about um, the issue of time, uh, we, we started a little bit late with this witness um, about 149. Avec, euh, um, this afternoon, we, were, we have been allocated half a day. Um, I, I do note that um, Je sais at least our understanding is that the Chamber intends to sit tomorrow as well. Um, and I want to inquire as to whether or not um, we and the civil parties may be able to continue questioning the witness in the morning, or if you expect us to finish earlier. Euh, de euh, nous faire terminer euh, aujourd'hui. The President. Le Président. May we know how much time the lead co lawyers would like uh, to have for putting questions to this witness, please? Les aimeraient disposer pour pouvoir uh, aller au bout de Council. Interrogatoire du témoin. Mr. President, Réponse. civil parties would like parties civiles, one hour for aimeraient disposer d'une heure pour pouvoir poser leurs questions à ce témoin. The President, uh, le Président, le Président, you may proceed and your request is granted. Poursuivez, uh, votre requête uh, est acceptée. To, for, you, you should uh, finish uh, putting questions. Uh, uh, and uh, for the whole afternoon and tomorrow Vous session, the chamber will be one hour for the civil parties. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you, Mr. President. 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 Mr. Kung Kim, um, you've heard the President. We have um, one more hour, so we're going to question. try and cover Monsieur as many témoin, uh, areas as possible. Président, nous disposons um, heure. Nous allons essayer de parcourir, parcourir le break, plus de chemin possible avant la pause. Nous avons euh, abordé euh, la question de la manière dont uh, les civils ont été um, contraints de quitter leur cut. logement um, euh, et le fait que l'eau avait été coupée. Le courant. Interview, euh, uh, dans ce même entretien, with, with DC Cam, Avec uh, there, is a, there is a segment which relates to two uh, those events. Um, this is at Khmer ERN 00548836, French ERN 00403351, and English 00633087585. Um, and I will read 
just a couple of relevant Et portions. Je vais lire quelques passages pertinents. Did you or someone else make the report about the incident to the upper echelon? Answer: Yes, I reported, and so did the others. But we discussed with each other within the group before making the reports. We discussed with each other within the group before making the reports. We discussed with each other within and then further down is a question, uh, what level did you report to? And the answer you gave was the battalion level, level which was directly above us. Um, is, that, is that correct, uh, Mr. Conkin, that uh, you were submitting reports um, about the progress of uh, evacuation to the battalion? The President, uh, Counts, uh, Witness, President, could you please hold on? Counsel for Mr. Yenseri, you may proceed. Counsel, I'm a dumb. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm not really on my feet to take issue with this. But the President ordered that the document be withdrawn from the witness. However, the document is still put up on the screen. Can it also be requested to be removed? Mr. President, I don't believe the document is being shown to the witness. We are not asking for it to be shown. Shown, um, if it is uh, inadvertently being put up, we will, we will leave it. Remove document it. I can simply read accessible the testimony. It's by inadvertence, and we will leave it immediately. The president. Le président. Indeed, uh, it shall be removed. Effectivement, donc le document est retiré. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, so, just returning, Mr. Kung Kim, uh, to that issue of reports. Uh, is that correct that you were submitting reports to the battalion commander as to the progress? Is it correct that you were submitting reports to the battalion commander as to the progress? We have another objection. La progression. Ah, je crois que nous avons une autre objection. Le président. The President, uh, witness, could you please hold on? Counsel for Mr. Nunchea, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, again, to be fair to the witness, I think the um, prosecutor should also read out the paragraph before the question because it is not simply reporting on the progress of the evacuation. It is reports about the specific incidents that the witness describes in the question uh, when he answered the question just before. So just to give the and witness a comprehensive picture Donc, il faut as to what he's answering to. I request the prosecutor to pardon, also read out témoin. the Prior lui demander d'intervenir sur la partie suivante. J'aimerais donc qu'on lise la partie précédente à ce passage. L'accusation de ce président. Je vais répondre comme suit. Il est entièrement ouvert à mes amis de l'Université de Toronto de revenir sur ces passages et de les contextualiser de la manière dont ils veulent. C'est un document de 51 pages. C'est une très longue portion que je lis. Et je demande à la witness de clarifier. La witness est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de donner le détail de la preuve. Il est parfaitement capable de Mr. Kim, would you like me to repeat the question? Mr. Kim, desirez-vous que je répète la question? But response. Response. Yes, please. Oui, s'il vous plaît. My question was simply: Was it correct that you were submitting reports to the battalion level? Est-il exact que vous faisiez rapport au niveau du bataillon en ce qui concerne la progression de l'évacuation? Response. Réponse. At that time, I was a young person. À cette époque, j'étais jeune. And I did not report to the 
battalion. Je ne faisais pas I rapport au, only knew à l'échelon du bataillon. Of the company Moi, je ne connaissais platoon. que les chefs de compagnie so et de peloton. Donc, le rapport ne pouvait atteindre. Mon rapport ne pouvait atteindre que you. le niveau um, le plus élevé, en l'occurrence, c'était la compagnie. Company level la question, est-ce que votre groupe informait le commandement de la compagnie de la progression de l'évacuation? Réponse. The big force had already evacuated the population la force from the city. And at de la our location, we noted that some Là people still remained. So we had to take them and nous to be handled by the company. Et une qui a été à de la compagnie. Um, Merci. Question. Now, Looking at um, your position in your OCIJ si statement, at the very first question uh, and answer, you were asked um, to describe your history prior to 1975. And you said, I was a soldier in Division 310 in the North zone. I was a squad leader at the time. Each squad had 12 members. And there were three squads subordinated to each platoon. Did you continue to hold that position as squad leader during the evacuation of Phnom Penh? Did you continue to hold that position as squad leader during the evacuation of Phnom Penh? Response. Response. Before we attacked Phnom Penh, I was not yet promoted as the chief or head of the squad. But when Phnom Penh was captured, I was installed as the head of the squad. J'ai été promu chef de squad. Now, if we can look at what. Bien, si l'on se tourne um, maintenant vers. What your, uh, what the units were doing um, during the evacuation, or what the civilians were being told, uh, returning to that um, statement given to DC Cam, à la déclaration um, faite à DC the Cam. relevant ERNs. In Khmer 000 54 54 54 54 54 54 54 54 54 and if they resisted when we were arriving, we would shoot them immediately. That was what we were used for. We were not involved with where to take them or what to do with them. Is that an accurate summary of of your statement and of what was happening in April 1975? That if people were refusing to leave, they were shot. Response. After a lot of people had been evacuated, there was not yet any order to shut them down. But the order was rendered when there were still remaining soldiers mingled with the civilians because we 
parce que Note that some nous avons soldiers pu observer attack que certains soldats soldiers, attaquaient nos troupes and, uh, for that, uh, we were ordered, uh, et to donc kill nous avons reçu anyone who remained because these people could have been regarded as the enemy already as they contested uh, the evacuation plan déjà, uh, and uh, we au plan made efforts to donc, nous avons fait des efforts tell people who remain to come down from up above uh, so de, that they could be uh, evacuated afin and those evacués, who did not comply with uh, the qui, order uh, had to be shot and être fires were exchanged des coups de feu furent échangés uh, uh, et euh, les Thank ordres you. furent appliqués. Um, now, on that same Question, topic, je vous remercie. Restons sur le même thème. If we look at, uh, Khmer IRN Passons sur le RN 00-548-34-83. French IRN 00-4-0-0-4-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
the corpses uh, floating corps at the river, in the river, but I did not know whether they were shot at or not. Pas but si the corpses that lie pas. on the roads uh, could have been dead or killed uh, by gunfire, and soldiers dans les uh, de were de supposed uh, to clear the road Et la tâche des soldats était de dégager la voie uh, de ces cadavres et c'est la raison pour laquelle le tracteur a été utilisé pour tirer ou pousser Kim, tous ces cadavres jusqu'à la rivière. Question, 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 mais ça ne répond pas à ma question. Ma question est la suivante. En relisant la déclaration que vous avez faite, soit que vos forces avaient le droit de tirer sur la population, ma question est la suivante. Est-ce que la déclaration que vous avez faite à ce moment-là est exacte, c'est-à-dire que vos forces les forces qui rouge avaient le pouvoir et l'autorité de tirer à vue sur la population qu'il n'y aurait pas de punition si de telles exécutions avaient lieu. Réponse. Je dois dire que ceci ne s'est produit Penh, qu'avant le rentrer dans Phnom Penh, parce qu'il y avait And des combats that jour that et moment, nuit, et à ce moment-là, uh, were seen in the les front of the battlefields les had to be shot qui se trouvaient ou les personnes qui étaient sur But le champ de bataille Phnom Penh, devaient être abattues we une fois entrées dans Phnom Penh shoot. nous n'avons pas reçu l'ordre de tirer sur les gens les gens avaient déjà été tués soit par des balles perdues soit par des tirs d'artillerie soit par des grenades de lance grenades qui étaient tirées de très loin nous ne savons pas Let me see if we can refresh your question. memory a little bit more on that particular issue. Uh, um, the same document, uh, this time, Khmer ERN 0005 uh, Le même document, Khmer ERN 0005 0045 And the question posed to you was, was there any plan telling you telling that if you saw the pagoda, you had to destroy it? Your answer is as follows. During the first step, there was no plan to destroy the pagoda. The only thing we had to do with entering Phnom Penh was to force people out, including the monks. The people and monks were considered the same. They must be kicked out. To speak in general, we had the right to shoot them and to force them out. Is that correct, Mr. Kung Kim? When you, exact, Kung when you said vous cela, to speak in general, we had donc, the right to shoot them and to force dites, them out. Résumé, Is it correct on avait that droit, si you had the power, the right to part, shoot people in order to force on them out? C'est exact. Est-ce que ceci correspond à la réalité, par contre? Response. Réponse. The reality is that when the people la were being la evacuated, uh, if there was no exchange fire from the other si opponents or soldiers, de de then people would not be shot uh, at. But if there were fires uh, from among the civilians, dessus, then there would si be soldiers inside and uh, would be ordered to uh, shot uh, at them. Uh, them. But if there were de only de pure civil de civilians, de then uh, we were not ordered to shoot them. And the pagoda was not ordered to be destroyed. Uh, pas des cibles remain, pour la destruction, uh, uh, les pagodes sont restées intactes. In a, a passage we looked at earlier, Dans un passage que nous avons examiné I read to you the following quote. antérieurement, je vous ai lu la citation we suivante. The them to leave. Uh, nous leur avons If they dit, resisted, le commandant they would be leur, shot to leur, death. leur a ordonné de partir. S'ils résistaient, ils seraient abattus. Est-ce que c'est ce que, quelque chose que vous disiez aux civils pour les forcer à partir Est-ce que vous leur avez dit que s'ils résistaient, ils seraient tués Réponse. 
My squad was at Mon our target. There was another special squad for evacuating the people. They would be holding loudspeakers uh, to uh, make some announcement uh, to the people to come from up above uh, so that population they could be evacuated uh, immediately. Uh, and after the majority of the population had, had been evacuated, Special groups and the remaining squads had to deal with the remaining people, and there was order that these remaining people should be treated as the adversary and that they could be shot dead if opportunity arrived. Thank you for uh, clarifying that. Um, Je vous remercie d'avoir précisé Now, cela. Now, just to look at um, tournons-nous maintenant the structure of, uh, vers la nature of your particular unit. Et la nature um, de votre unité again, in that DCCAM interview, donc dans l'entretien de CCAM, à nouveau, Khmer Yaren 00 Khmer 00 548 en anglais. 0056-33-876. There is um, the following segment which I wish to look at. Le segment suivant que j'aimerais que l'on considère. Question to Question. any direction. Answer yes, any direction. And then it was up to the others where to send these people to. My work was to only push them out of the city. And a little bit further down, question, didn't you escort them? No, I did not. There were different groups of soldiers stationing along the road to tell them where to go. I was in the dragging road. So my work was to go first into the house to drag them out. Question. C'était de prendre dans les maisons pour les en sortir. Est-ce que c'était vous question qui les avez sortis des maisons Oui, c'est nous qui les avons sortis des maisons pour les amener vers le groupe. Absolute clarity. Ceci pour assurer la task of your group to remove the people from the houses and then send them along the road. Ne soient plus dans les maisons, qu'elles soient expulsées des maisons et qu'elles soient expédiées le long de la route jusqu'à est-ce qu'elle rejoigne une autre unité qui les prendrait en charge Response. Réponse. People were not evacuated arbitrarily La and we were supposed to only evacuate people at our target area because uh, as soldiers, we had to clear the area of people so that soldiers could come and station uh, there. So I only, our group only evacuated people at the location where we stationed. Thank you for being specific with your answers. Question. Je vous remercie d'avoir précisé ces aspects de vos réponses. On, on Quelques this questions encore portant sur cette période. We were discussing earlier Nous discutions the, uh, tout the à l'heure um, des affrontements avec les forces de la République Khmer et du traitement um, qui avait été accordé aux forces de la République Khmer. In, in Dans l'entretien de CECAM, um, il y a Khmer ERN le passage 000 suivant, ERN Khmer 00-548-39, Français 00-403-354 et Anglais 00-633-878. Question: What happened Question. to the monks in the pagoda? Qu'est-il advenu des moines Answer. dans les pagodes? Réponse: Quote, Everyone had to leave, including the soldiers of the previous regime. Il fallait chasser tout le monde, y compris les soldats As du régime for the soldiers, précédent. If they took off the uniform, aux soldats, ils ôtaient leur uniforme. They would have a chance to live longer. Ils auraient la possibilité de survivre en plus longtemps. Mais s'ils ne quittaient pas l'uniforme et qu'ils résistaient, euh, ils seraient euh, abattus. Is that a correct statement that those 
S'agit-il là d'une description exacte euh, du fait que ceux qui restaient en uniforme étaient abattus When we got to, the, to Phnom Penh, réponse. Lorsque nous sommes arrivés à Phnom Penh, soldiers uh, who did not uh, resist les and agreed uh, to go along pas. with the people uh, being evacuated, uh, they were spared. But uh, those uh, who resisted, contre, particularly those who, resisté, those soldiers who were uh, within the group, uh, they uh, did not groupe, retreat. Uh, so we had uh, to uh, shoot them. So at that time, uh, the class and fire exchange uh, took place uh, when they encountered those soldiers in uniforms. Thank you. Um, Le Je vous now, in your interview with the investigators, um, le you discussed the, the destruction of a, of a church vous in de Phnom Penh. Um, and you also discussed that matter in, in your DC CAM interview. Aussi dans um, we have limited time, so I, I don't want to enter into a, a lot of detail about the destruction of the church. There's one aspect of that um, de la that I would like to ask you about. Um, vous poser and this is at, on in that DC CAM interview, mention at 00 the President, uh, International Prosecutor, could you please uh, repeat the ERN numbers? Of course, Mr. President, uh, to my 00054856, French 00403369, and English 00633892. Um, again, I don't want to discuss extensively the destruction of the church. Um, there's one aspect of that event that I wish to ask you about. Um, you were asked the following question. How did you know that the materials such as explosive and transportation equipment used for blowing it up were from the central? How did you know that they belonged to the central? And your answer is as follows. Because they brought in the equipment, such as trucks and bulldozers, they used at that time to work place. The division did not have those equipment. After the fall of Phnom Penh, the division did not even have any trucks. There was no truck in any division. So my question is, uh, where you're discussing the trucks belonging to the center, um, which body are you referring to there as the center? À quel organisme faites-vous ici référence? Quel organe plutôt? Que veut dire le centre? Response. Uh, after evacuation of people out of Phnom Penh, Phnom Penh was empty and quiet, and there was an instruction uh, that we demolish the church, uh, Catholic Church, and I received order from the uh, company, and we were the one who were tasked to detonate uh, the uh, bomb, and we uh, demolished it, it collapsed after that. And uh, we actually, our uh, force uh, belonged to the central uh, soldiers, central armies as well, because when we arrived in Phnom Penh, we were no longer the zoned uh, military, but we belonged to the center. So those, uh, uh, the trucks did not belong uh, to the division, because when I got to Phnom, uh, when we were in the division, uh, we did not uh, 
uh, see any trucks, but when we got Donc, to Phnom Penh, we saw a fleet of trucks camions, um, Penh, uh, taking rubbish and debris uh, uh, around uh, away. So uh, I did not know where they took those uh, debris to, but our task was mainly to, demol uh, to uh, detonate uh, the uh, bombs to demolish the church. Thank you. In that same passage that we were looking at, um, you said that it took about three months to destroy the church. Um, is that an accurate um, recording of your statement? Did it take that long to destroy it? Three months. Est-ce que cela a pris autant de temps? Trois mois pour détruire l'église. Uh, it was uh, three months. Uh, we actually um, did not mobilize many forces. Uh, there was only one support uh, was uh, tasked uh, to uh, demolish the church. Uh, so uh, at that time, we were asked uh, to uh, detonate the bombs in different uh, places. We had to detonate the bombs uh, once after another, as was instructed uh, by the uh, superior, until we completely demolished the building. Thank you. Did you know who was commanding the divisions of the center. You said your division became a division of the center. Do you know who was the authority above the divisions of the center? Le commandement général des divisions du centre. I received the order uh, from the company commander, and when we were detonating the bombs, there was uh, the commander by the name of Som and Chet uh, from the uh, platoon, uh, who, uh, from the battalion, uh, who uh, oversaw uh, the detonating and demolition of the building, and there were other people as well whom, uh, who were uh, greeted by people over there, but I did not know uh, their exact position uh, in the rank of command. Thank you. Uh, we have limited time, so we're going to move on to um, another uh, location where you worked. Um, by way of uh, exploring the authority structure within your division and how the structure changed, if it did. Um, in your OCIJ statement, D1667-74, um, you discussed a prison at which uh, you were assigned to to work as a guard. Um, à vous étiez comme garde. This is at it, the section uh, begins at Khmer ERN 0027166 or rather 165 French 0046098. And English 00278683. You stated the following. In late 1975 or early 1976, I was assigned to guard a prison north of Guam. That prison was the division's prison. There were 32 of us guarding that prison. As for the interrogations, other people did that. The prisoners included sector comms and district comms. Now, I'm going to ask you a very specific question, if you could please be very precise in your answer. When was that prison of Division 310 established? prison de la Division 310 
I received uh, the direction uh, from the uh, battalion and regiment uh, to stand guard uh, these prisons. Uh, I was attached there in late 1975 and early 1976. Uh, the task of my uh, in in the uh, uh, platoon, uh, there were different squads. And there was one uh, commander in the platoon uh, who uh, oversaw uh, the uh, function of the other three squads, and I uh, controlled one of the squads. And this uh, prison was not uh, recently um, uh, built, actually it left uh, behind uh, from the previous regime. And I was sent there to stand guard this uh, prison, and uh, our main task uh, was to um, provide security uh, protection to this uh, prison. And one day, I saw a truck uh, carrying uh, the prisoners who were all blindfolded. And uh, those prisoners were taken off uh, the uh, trucks and uh, admitted to this uh, prison. And this prison were divided into different sections. There were one uh, in the underground, the dark uh, underground prison. And there were other two sections as well. Et deux autres sections. Thank you. You've given us a very comprehensive answer. Le procureur, um, merci pour cette réponse. Uh, I'm just going to repeat my previous question. Je vais um, répéter ma question. If, if you don't know the answer, just si tell us. Don't don't réponse, know. Vous um, when vous dire was que vous ne the prison pas. established? Was Quand it uh, immediately following the evacuation of Phnom Penh? The Pnom prison Pnom. that was run by Division 310. I know it was, and I'll just clarify because et I do je understand sais, it was a building très bien que ce that had been used as a prison. My question is, when did Division 310 start to use that la division 310 compound as a prison? Pris le contrôle de cette prison. As I said, uh, it was used as a prison in late 1975 or early 1976. They uh, started making use of this building as a prison. Thank you very much. Do you know, and, and tell us if you don't, who gave the order for that place to be used as a prison? I did not know. I did not know the person who ordered uh, the uh, establishment of this prison, but I only received the order uh, to stand guard uh, of this prison premise. Thank you. Um, who was it that gave you the order to uh, stand guard inside that prison? Was it one of your superiors within Division 310? My direct supervisor was the um, commander of the uh, company by the name of Rain. And, uh, there was the uh, Song, who was the Song commander of a uh, regiment, and Jim, who Jim was the commander of the, uh, the uh, battalion. Uh, so I received actually the direct order uh, from Rain, who was the uh, commander of the uh, company. Thank you. Um, now if we look at um, the some of the prisoners in that previous section, we, uh, we, that I read to you, um, you said that the prisoners included sector comms and district comms. Um, and then further down, you say the following at Khmer ERN 0027016. Or rather, 0027016. French ERN 00486098. And English 00278684. You say the following. Later on, my own commander, that is, division commander, Poon was arrested. I saw them place him in chains. 
aside from him, Regimental Chairman Song, Battalion Chairman Yin, and Song, Company Commander Pao were also arrested po, and put in that prison. Dans cette prison. Can you tell us where it was that you saw Commander Un being arrested? But my task was to stand guard the prison. But later on, uh, in early 1976, tard, I uh, saw the, the, the leaders were uh, arrested, uh, both the commander of the uh, division, the regiment, the and battalion. And I recognized their faces, and I uh, saw them. Uh, arrested and admitted to the hospital and then once I uh, they noted that those people were my leaders and then uh, they transferred me uh, out uh, of uh, that prison so I was no longer stationed at that prison. Moving along in the interest of time, um, in your DC camp interview, we shall look at uh, a specific section, Khmer ERN 0054850, French 0040333363, and English 0063338877. You discuss the interrogations of prisoners in that prison. Um, I'm only interested in the authority structure. Question. Were those in charge of interrogation, question. arresting and taking a prisoner out, also from the Division 310, or from the other units? Answer, no, no, they were not from 310. They were called the General Staff of the Central, and they were from the Central. Can you tell us um, what you meant by general staff of the central, who, who was that? What body was that? As the guard providing security uh, at the prison, we uh, noted that uh, the interrogators uh, were not members of our uh, division. Uh, those were the uh, members of the general staff, and they were in the higher command than our division. Uh, and our task was to stand guard over there, and we only uh, witnessed uh, prisoners being admitted to the uh, prison and the uh, torture being inflicted uh, to the prisoners. Now, Returning to um, the statement and just looking at uh, general staff uh, in a bit more detail again, um, Khmer ERN 0054844, French ERN 0040335858, and English 0063338822. You were discussing a, a meeting which took place following the arrests of the senior Division 310 um, cadre, and we're looking at the following section. Uh, je, donc, Question. When they held the meeting to tell you, who was that person who said that your commander was the traitor? Answer, I did not know the name. They came to hold the meeting and told us that our division commander was arrested because he was the traitor. So they would change a new leader for us. Question, but which unit that held the meeting to tell you? Answer, they were from the central. They were called the general staff is that the same body, the general staff, uh, which convened this meeting? Is that the same body that you were describing earlier? 
que vous décriviez plus tôt, celui dont faisaient partie les gens responsables des arrestations. When they Réponse. arrested uh, the commanders uh, from the uh, company uh, up to the division uh, commander, the division, then in 1976, uh, early 1976, uh, they uh, remove us, actually they transfer us uh, to the airfield in Kampung Chnang. At that time, the airfield were to be constructed and we were supposed to uh, have construct the building. At that time, the commander uh, supervising us was uh, Bâtiment. À l'époque, c'était Pond qui nous supervisait. And there was the uh, general staff uh, who were people from the southwest, who were the uh, close aid uh, of the center. Uh, so the soldiers from the uh, southwest were uh, tasked uh, to supervise uh, our uh, forces because we were considered uh, the uh, combatant forces. So following the arrest of my commanders, uh, they disperse uh, our forces. Forces. So they just transfer us under the supervisions of soldiers uh, from the southwest, and they accuse my superiors, my previous superiors, uh, as uh, traitors. I just want to make sure um, I understood you correctly. Um, were you telling us that it was the general staff of the center that had assigned the southwest zone? confié à la zone sud-ouest au cadre de la zone sud-ouest la tâche de prendre le commandement de votre division. C'est bien cela? At the time, the, my forces did not have uh, leaders anymore because, and anymore because they uh, were all arrested. So they um, assign the leaders donc, from the southwest les, les uh, to par control our du forces. Et eux qui nos forces. Thank you. Question. Je vous remercie. Now, just exploring that um, topic, you mentioned uh, a lot of people being arrested. Ce sujet, um, vous avez que I just want to clarify or ask you about one passage in your interview with DC Cam. At Khmer 00054843, French 00403357 to 58, and 00633814, English 57 to 58, and the correspondent in English. The President, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, Monsieur please uh, repeat uh, your je ERN numbers again. Uh, please uh, be more slowly, please. Thank you, Mr. President. My, my apologies. The ERNs are for Khmer 00054843, French 00403357. Five seven to eight and English zero zero six three three eight eight one. Um, there is a long answer here. I'm just going to read the relevant part for our present purposes. Quote, they said that those who had been arrested were the traitors. They educated me, the guard, that my leader was arrested because he had been in the string network. Then the arrested persons implicated others, leading to more arrests of the regiment commanders. Can you explain, explain for us just a little bit um, what is meant by the concept of a string network? nous expliquer le, ce que vous entendez par le concept de filière ou de réseau. At the time, uh, my understanding was uh, that uh, they accused my leaders 
of being the enemies and traitors, and I did not know, I did not understand why they were characterized as uh, uh, enemies, because they were leaders in their rank, and I uh, did not know uh, what happened uh, up there. But what I noted generally uh, was that uh, the commanders in the regiments and uh, uh, the region uh, commander were all arrested, but those who were lower in the rank were not arrested. And I heard from others that those who were arrested were accused of being the enemy. Thank you. We have only a few minutes remaining. Um, returning to your interview with the investigators, um, at Khmer ERN 00270-166, French 00 486098 and English 00278683. I just wish to read one sentence to you. Um, you're describing the people being held at the prison here, and you say those prisoners were only at my location for two or three nights before they were taken to Tall Slang. Uh, could you tell the court how you learned that these prisoners were being moved and taken to Tall Slang? President, witness, please uh, hold on. The National Defense uh, Council for Mr. Yang Sari, you may proceed. Council Angudam. May it please uh, the court, I actually should have raised uh, this matter uh, earlier. Uh, but uh, I hope that the prosecutor would not move mm. on uh, with his uh, question. Que le uh, ne pas cette série if de we look at uh, the order issued by the uh, chamber, document E124, document uh, uh, the uh, uh, prosecutor is deviating uh, from uh, this uh, instruction uh, because he is now referring to the uh, uh, prison. Uh, and uh, according uh, to uh, these uh, uh, orders, we are not uh, supposed to discuss uh, uh, the location of uh, prison or security security centers because I'm afraid that uh, the prosecutor is being deviating uh, from the scope of the trial before us now. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, if uh, I can respond briefly. Um, my friend is, is uh, I'm afraid, entirely wrong. Um, the issues to be covered in this trial include the military structure and the role of the Revolutionary Army of Cambodia in Purges. That is at paragraphs 146 to 149 of the closing order, um, and it is listed in the document to which my friend is referring. Now, I'm being very careful uh, not to enter into extensive examination of the crime base. Um, I'm simply uh, eliciting evidence in relation to the changing structure of the division and to how the purges affected the senior cadre. Um, that's why I didn't ask any questions about the prison of Division 310. Um, and my respectful submission, uh, it's entirely appropriate to elicit a limited amount of evidence about the uh, changing structure and the removal of senior commanders
the president. Le président. The chamber notes that la chambre the question note that le fait que la question by the co-prosecutor qui a été posée par le coprocureur à l'instant n'a pas de pertinence directe avec les faits. Et comme il s'agissait probablement de la dernière question posée par le procureur, la Chambre permet aux témoins de répondre. Réponse. The reason la raison I knew that uh, they were sent to dual slang because the guards uh, who were with me were uh, engaged in uh, escorting uh, them there. Moi, When they returned, they told me about this. Thank you, Mr. Kim King, for il, your il answers and for coming disait, to the court. Um, to assist Merci, us. Uh, um, Kim, I'll just indicate that the case file contains the confession of Spau Kim alias Huon. This is document number IS 5.89. Um, it is the S21 confession of the division commander of division 310. Um, we've run out of time. I thank your honours for the extra time. Uh, and we'll stop here. Thank you. Merci de m'avoir accordé du temps supplémentaire. Je n'ai plus rien à ajouter. The President, Great. thank you. Le Lico lawyer for the civil parties, you may now proceed. Council Bang. Thank you, Mr. President. Since uh, tomorrow I will be absent, co councils for the civil parties will be putting questions to this uh, witness. Mrs. Chet Vani and Council Benier will be putting the questions uh, for your information. The President, uh, thank you, Council, and thank you, Witness. Since it is now appropriate time for today adjournment, uh, the Chamber will adjourn, and the next session so will be resumed by tomorrow at 9 a.m. During tomorrow's sessions, the Chamber continues to hear the testimonies of Mr. Kung Kim. Mr. Kung Kim, your testimony. Money are uh, uh, not yet uh, complete, uh, so we would like uh, to nous ask donc, uh, that you come <coughs> back to the court tomorrow to give the testimonies. Uh, court officer is now instructed to assist with the first two unit to et, uh, make sure that Mr. Kung Kim is properly accommodated uh, and that he Kim, uh, is returned to the courtroom by 9 a.m. Security personnel are now instructed to bring Mr. Nguyen Chi and Q Sampong to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom by tomorrow before 9 a.m. The court is adjourned. Uh, 9 heures. Le, le Some